I'm creating 10 of the most iconic scenes from Star Wars The Clone Wars in LEGO. Most LEGO YouTubers would build 10 small things that take like 5 minutes to build and call it a day, but I don't think anyone has done what I'm about to do. Let's get started. One of the most iconic scenes from the first season of The Clone Wars is on Christophsis when this clone punches a droid. Then he realizes he probably huh? broke his hand and gets shot and killed. You'd love to see it. I started by using some tiles on a base plate to use as the ground. Then I modified this LEGO Separatist tank by shortening the big cannon and added it to the background. I wanted to add some battle droids, but LEGO droids don't have a lot of posability, so I substituted some custom parts from Tyne TDT Tyne and Brick Arms to add more detail and posability. I kind of feel bad for the clone that punched a droid, so let's pretend he worked out a bit more before he punched the droid. This time, instead of breaking his hand, he's going to successfully punch the droid's head off. But before I show you the redemption of this clone, you may have noticed I haven't been building very much. Instead of only building a small diorama that took like five minutes to build, I chose one frame from each scene to replicate in Lego and will edit the scene in Photoshop to add some extra details that you can't replicate in real life. But before we start editing, we need to finish up this scene. I placed another clone who still needs to hit the gym in the back with a custom blaster and place more droids around them. I made a few small adjustments then took the picture. I also took a picture of a droid head Trust me, this will make much more sense when I throw it into Photoshop. I think I'm gonna start with cutting out the background. I cut out the background and replaced it with one that looked more like Christophsis where the battle was happening, blurred it, then realized the tank looks like it does not belong there. Let's fix that. Fixing the tank was pretty difficult. It wasn't perfect, but it's an improvement at least. Now let's add in the droid's head falling off. I added it to the picture, then changed the color so it didn't look fake. When a dude this shredded punches someone, they're gonna be flying all the way to Tatooine. So I gotta add some motion blur to that droid head. I think it's about time we add some blast and explosions. I tried out some images that I already had, but they didn't quite look right, so I made them myself. After a little experimenting, I came up with this. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I made another variant, and it turned out pretty good. I don't see a difference, other than the fact it's red. I started putting blaster fire on the image, and it looked so cool, and started adding sparks to the droid's head. Most people would call it quits here, but I spent another 20 minutes to make it look like this. Every time I finish one of these scenes, I will post it on Instagram, and the five scenes that get the most likes will be posted on the homepage of my website. Unfortunately, Instagram terminated my account, so I lost over 3,500 followers, and Instagram never told me why. So if you wanna help me regain my followers, you can scan this QR code right here or click the link in the description and it will really help me out. The next scene is the time the 501st got deployed on Umbara. They got obliterated by the locals, deceived into killing their own brothers without knowing it, then betrayed by Dexter's cousin who just so happened to have two double-bladed lightsabers and a strong connection with the Force. In case you didn't pick up on it, they did not have a good time on Umbara. I decided to summarize a few of these battles into one scene by having Kix Dragon injured 501st Trooper to safety as Hardcase and Fives engage in battle against the locals dressed up as their brothers. Oh, Oh, oops, <laughs> I guess they're actually shooting their brothers. I placed down a base plate, some rocks, and this underground monster that's trying to eat Jesse. In front, I added Waxer, Fies, and an injured 501st with Kicks giving him CPR or something, while Hardcase is having the time of his life with his brand new machine gun. Then I placed three custom 212 troopers on the right side. I dragged the pictures into Photoshop and picked the best one, dragged in the backgrounds I picked out, and then cut out the background. It was kind of hard just to pick one background, so I decided to try something new. Let's try to combine these two backgrounds. I like that. I made some small adjustments, then tried to create a blaster wound for the injured clone using a Doctor Strange portal. It was an interesting choice, but it actually kind of worked. After an hour of adding blaster fire and other adjustments, I came up with this. As tough as it is to watch clones annoyingly shoot their own brothers, the saddest episode of the Clone Wars was when Ahsoka and Rex had to get off the big ship, but Jesse and the boys were like, nah -uh. so they had to negotiate, but Jesse was like, nah -uh. and he orders the boys to kill Ahsoka and Rex, but they end up escaping. And just when you think it's about to be okay, they find out that Jesse and the boys all died, and everyone in the movie theater cried. Another great scene to make in an upbeat YouTube video. For some reason, Lego never made a helmet for Jesse, so I made a custom one for him. I also made a custom 332nd helmet and bought a custom phase 2 helmet that looks a lot better than Lego. Literally all I did was put all those helmets on a bunch of poles and took pictures of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the scene was incredibly easy to set up. But putting this together in Photoshop, 
is gonna be a nightmare. First, I cropped each of the images, then cut them out. I needed to lay out what the rest of the scene would look like, so I plopped on the ground in the background. I adjusted them to look a little more natural, but we'll finish that later. And when a massive ship crashes, obviously there's gonna be smoke and dust in the air, so I brushed some of that on there. Oh, heck yeah. This is how it turned out. Something's not quite right about one of those helmets. I don't remember putting that there. Next up is the iconic Siege of Mandalore, where Maul's Mandalorians face off against the 332nd, led by the legend, Captain Vaughn. Don't worry, I'm not gonna recreate his death. I'll save that for Fives and Thorn. I stuck a tiled off faceplate down with some stairs in the back, then built some guardrails to prevent Mandalorian citizens from falling to their deaths. Wouldn't want that happening again. I made a custom Captain Vaughn that looks much better than the one Lego made, and used Sticky Tack to put the arms into the right position. If you want one of these helmets for yourself, you can buy one on my website. Next, I took a 332nd trooper. Hold up, not that one. This custom looks much more accurate. I adjusted the camera a bit, put the 332nd in the bridge area, then took some pictures of the 332nd in different places because I only have one right now. Photoshop is gonna be very useful for this one. After dragging the images in, I blended all of them together so it looked like there were four 332nd troopers, then removed the background. I added one more getting shot and falling off the building, and I had to do some fine tuning to make it look the same as the other clones. I got rid of the blue that was behind some of the other clones, then tested out how some backgrounds looked. That's not a bad one. I don't like this one. A bit too complicated. I like this one. Yeah, that's not bad if you blur it. I refined the edge of the clones a little bit more, then added some blur to the clone in the back. The bottom right corner has a piece that isn't connected to anything, so I tried to fix it with AI. That's right, we use an AI. <laughs> hey, not bad. After doing some small adjustments, I realized I didn't put blue arms on Vaughn. Well, we can fix that. It took a long time to fix, but it does look natural at first glance. This clone has some sparks coming out of him because he's getting shot. I think I'm going to do that to this clone right here. I tried my best, but no matter what I did, it didn't quite look right. What's so off about it? But I had a plan to make this picture look a lot less generic. Did you say generic? Generic. Like generic stud? Sorry, Becky. I meant to say the picture looked a little bit dull. Here's how I fixed it. The original picture doesn't have much action, but this is not the original picture, so I'm gonna create some blasters firing. <laughs> I wanted a blast to be coming from Vaughn's blaster, but it didn't quite look right, so I tried a different clone, and it turned out well. Yeah, that looks so much better. I don't know a single person who doesn't like Captain Hauser. He was willing to get arrested for doing the right thing. What a legend. This technically isn't part of the Clone Wars, but it has clones, so what's the difference? I made the ground a bit darker for this one, but it still has some brighter pieces in the background. I placed Captain Hauser with his custom brick tactical blaster on the ground next to him, and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. I want to show the reactions of the clones hearing that murdering Jedi and terrorizing the citizens of Ryloth is actually bad to do. Wow! So I flipped the base plates and put some custom clones with riot shields on it, just like it was in the show. Oh, these guys don't even have shields. Why didn't I know that? With this one, I'm thinking of doing a split screen type of thing, where I have one side with Hauser and the other side of the reaction with these kinds of clones. Let's see if we can make it work. I started by putting Hauser on the left side. I played around with the composition for a while, but couldn't find anything that looked decent, so I just decided to make Hauser's side look a little better. I wanted the background to be exactly the same as it was in the show, so I had to remove Hauser from the image. Is it going to work? What the heck is this? Oh, content aware fail, that's what it is. You can see that Hauser's still there, but I don't think it'll be that noticeable. Are you sure about that? I tried putting Hauser in front of the background. That's not bad. Then slapped him on the left side. That's pretty good. I cleaned up the background a little bit. There we go. And when I looked at how terrible the right side was, I decided to have Hauser just take up the whole image. And after changing the colors around, I decided that looks a lot better. You can see there's a light source over here. So I added some shadows and adjusted the colors to get this. I think we ended up just getting a cool picture of Hauser. I used to ask myself, hmm, I wonder why Ahsoka left the Jedi Order. But then I remember she was set up by her best friend, labeled as a criminal by everyone she knew, and chased out of the only place she called home.
Well, that sounds pretty traumatic. Let's build it out of Lego. In this scene, Ahsoka was running on a bridge, so I made it by linking some plates together, placing some Lego rails in front, and custom rails in the back along with some crates to make the scene more dynamic. I constructed Ahsoka using her original minifig with her grown-up face from this minifig, then stole two green lightsabers from Yoda and this guy from the Citadel arc because her lightsabers were green at the time. Then I piled up a gunship full of shock troopers. No, not those ones. <laughs> not everyone likes helmet holes. I placed four different custom shock troopers in the gunship and two custom phase two pilots in the cockpits. I know some of you guys might want to buy these, so I'll try to get them on my website soon. I put the gunship in the right position, then took the picture. We got this photo and this photo. This lighting is so much more dynamic though. Cutting out the background was pretty easy, but finding a new background was difficult. I found a gap in the gunship that was not accurate at all, so I needed to fix that. All we need is this little door. This might actually work. Now for the fun part, the lightsabers. Draw a little line, cut this little thing out. Nice, outer glow. And at this point she has green lightsabers. Oh, heck yeah. This clone is trying to shoot Ahsoka, but it's not a regular blaster, it's a stun blaster. So I have to make a little circle right here. It took a long time for me to figure out how to get it to look decent, but once I added some highlights and adjusted the colors, it looked awesome. Remember how cool Echo was in the Clone Wars? It's too bad he got nerfed after his explosion update. Lego never made Echo as an ARC trooper, so I did. I took off the arms and used Sticky Tack to give him the, oh no, I'm blowing up. Disney isn't gonna let me die a hero's death because they're gonna bring me back to life only to use me as a background character pose. Then I stuck him on a big pole and took a picture. I also wanted to add the shield he was holding, so I bought a custom shield and took a photo of that one too. I bought more for you guys too, so if you want one, it's on my website. Looks great. I can't wait to to add the explosion. I cropped each image and placed it on the canvas, found a good looking explosion, beautiful, and blew it up to take up the whole picture. Wait, is that a dad joke? I cut out Echo and his shield, then decided which photo of Echo I would use. This one just looks so much more active, and he looks like he's actually dying, so I kinda wanna do this one. It would only be fitting to have a blaster on this side. Well, we know what to do. <laughs> Maybe we had like a smaller explosion coming out of the explosion. 10 million IQ. Dude, that looks cool. Wait, I was just trying things out and it didn't work. Now it looks like Echo's actually gonna die. I went back to add the blaster. I got hit with the blast. Oh. I tried making the flames engulf Echo and it looks sick. Wait, why is this actually good? What if we do that to the blaster? It actually works so well. After 30 minutes of making some final tweaks, this came out to be one of the most epic images images of this video. We all know that Echo didn't actually die, but unfortunately, his brother Fives did. This was the saddest part of the Clone Wars. Fox, I hate you. When I recorded this, I didn't have the Fives minifig yet, so I just used a regular clone and we'll have to fix it in Photoshop. Lego's newer Rex minifig looks okay, but I made a custom Captain Rex that looks much better and put custom kneeling legs on him since he's kneeling next to Fives as he says his last words. Then I added Fox to the background. Oh yeah. He knows he messed up. This is also not the Lego version because that one is more inaccurate than the entire Lego Ninjago movie. Since some of these customs, like Fox for example, are made outside the US, I'm trying to make them more accessible by reselling them through my website. Buying stuff from my website or just simply watching these videos will help me get the funds to acquire Fox for you guys. I like how I just chose the most random background for this. If we blurred enough, no one will know. This is gonna sound really nerdy, but I chose to make the background symmetrical to draw more attention to the minifigs. That just looks actually pretty good now. I faded the edges of the base plate into the background, then looked for a good image of Fives' face. I chose to steal this one from Bruce Swift on Instagram, who easily has one of the top 10 largest clone armies in the world. Thank you, Bruce. For the record, I ended up tracing over it, so technically I didn't steal the picture. It took me 30 minutes to transform Fives' face, but it was worth it. I tried making this image look as depressing as possible, because it's one of the saddest moments in the Clone Wars. Why am I getting sad, man?
Okay, you can stop crying now. We're done with all the death scenes. Get debated, we're gonna do another one. Thorne's death was both really cool and really sad. I'm just glad he went out like a champ blasting some clankers with a machine gun. If I were a clone, that's the way I'd want to go out. But Micah, LIGO didn't make Thorne. Don't worry, we made another custom. There's no way for a minifig to look like this naturally, so it's time to remove the arms and use more sticky tack. This minigun by Brick Tactical looks amazing, by the way. I placed Thorne in the middle, surrounded by two super battle droids and a shock trooper that got shot through the heart that I'm gonna call Bon Jovi, which I posed with these rods and used more sticky tack on his arm. I placed two super battle droids, one of them getting obliterated by Thorn's minigun, and then took the picture. I did the usual, you know the drill, placed down a starry background, made it blue, then added some motion blur to make it look like it does in this screenshot. Then, it was time for the fun part, shooting lasers out of Thorn's minigun. We also had to create the blaster wound for the shock trooper and the super battle droid. It's starting to look sick. Adding one more shot going off screen made it look so much better. Here's how it came out. 99's death scene was tragic, but we're not gonna recreate it because let's be honest, it was kind of stupid to run into an area with no cover just to get some grenades. 99's legacy deserves honor. So I'm gonna recreate this scene where he's telling the cadets not to be a failure in the nicest way possible. Wait. I sold all my cadets to Firebird Bricks. I guess we're gonna do this scene where he meets up with Fives and Echo and learns that Heavy died. But seriously, I can't tell if he's happy to see his old friends or sad to hear that Heavy died in this picture. I made a custom 99 minifigure and set it in front of the camera. <laughs> I think that's all I had to do. I dropped the pictures and the backgrounds in and cut out the 99 minifig. I chose to use this image as the background, which meant I had to remove 99 from it. I placed down the 99 minifig, then added the frown smile face that he's doing in the picture. I'm glad this one didn't take very long because I was getting drained after 11 hours of editing photos. Now that we've completed all of these scenes, it looks like we have five winners. The winners are Victory and Death, Echo's Death, Hauser's Speech, Fize's Death, and the clone punching a droid. You can take a closer look at these photos on either my website's homepage or on my Instagram. What the heck is Becky doing there? I used so many cool customs in this video, but here are 100 more that I know you'll enjoy. With your help, we can make these customs more accessible to everyone.